I'm about to tell you the adventure of uh, making the Book of Esther. We're going back in the early 70s. London is very gray, very uh, depressing. I had a good friend by the name of Ron Finkel who came from Australia and Ron said to me, Hey, Matty, you're an artist. What would you like to do? I said to him, Ron, we have such a wonderful heritage, biblical heritage, and I would like to really create an artist book on, let's say, the story of Esther. He looked at me and he said, wow, that's a great idea. Let's do it. And I said to myself, well, the Book of Esther has to be full of color, imaginary color, to bring light into my artist's life. And the adventure began. I came across a book of uh, Rorschach. This is the, the concept of ink blocked, that when you fold the paper, the ink is creating a double image. And the idea is that a patient can actually look through the ink block and see imaginary things and tell a story around that. I like that concept, so I decided my story of Esther have to be based on that principle, meaning we have a double image and then the viewer can build his own imaginary story, how he see. The only thing that kept the, the vision that this is the story of Esther is the Hebrew text. I think Unatan Zach prepared one of the most amazing translation to the story of Esther that was ever created. For me, uh, his vision is absolutely helped me to understand the story of Esther in a different way. And in 1978, the whole project went and was part of the exhibition One Man Show at the Jewish Museum in New York. Sometimes, by being uh, bold in a conception and taking a risk, sometimes the risks can pay off. Thank you. 